I don't know about you, but I can't stand it when... I can't... <sighs> hey, Scouter Stan. I want to talk a little bit about cell phones. Um, cell phones, I like to put them on the camp mode. <laughs> Alright, uh, which is airplane mode, I think, on some phones. But um, we have to think about these things. They're, um, they're a marvel, okay? I'll admit that. I have a cell phone. I've had one for years. And it is critical that we think about a way in scouting to make them less intrusive to scouting. I tell you, these things are amazing. They have their pocket computers. That's really what they are. They have the entire internet right there in the phone. Uh, it's amazing. They're a communicator. You can not only voice, but you could do text. You could do emails. You could do all those kinds of things. It's an entertainment consult for a lot of people. Uh, gaming, video streaming, all that stuff. In fact, 80% of you are watching me right now through your phone. That's that's a YouTube statistic on this channel, on our community. Um, that's 80% of you are watching us, watching me on your phone. So that's another big thing. They're digital cameras. They've got a studio built into the phone where you could do video and camera effects and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's, it is the number one device used for any social media, whether it be, you know, the Facebook or the, uh, you name it. I mean, it's all appliable to the cell phone. Uh, no wonder these things are addictive. They can be very intrusive to modern living, not alone scouting. Ever been, uh, Google checked? That's when you're giving a presentation and somebody looks up one of the facts that you stated uh, on Google. And Google, yeah, you know, there's a thousand hits on everything you put, every word you put in there. You can get a thousand different things and a lot of it can be contradictory. So when you get Google checked, uh, basically they're checking up on your credibility. <laughs> and you can do it on their phone. It can be very disruptive. Have you ever heard of no mo phobia? That's where you have no mobile phone and you kind of just freak out, you know? Uh, there are some people that are addicted to these marvel uh, of electronics uh, and they can go through some withdrawals and that could be rather dramatic. FOMO is another effect. I never knew what that was, but it's the fear of missing out. I had no idea, okay? And a lot of people have to check their phone on a constant basis because of FOMO. Obviously, we need to work something out for scouting. Scouting needs to be a safe place and a way that we can um, help uh, America's youth kind of break that bad habit of the cell phone. Um, so we need to, to offer a solution uh, to that. Uh, I would recommend that all meetings, ceremonies, and uh, even camping uh, should be cell phone or phone-free events, phone-free zones. Um, adults should be made or asked, not made, but <laughs> asked nicely if they would either turn their phone completely off or completely silencing the phone. Take all of its notifications. Uh, some buzzing sounds can be actually quite annoying. Uh, I know that adults use it as an alarm clock. That's a pretty common thing. Um, but we need to keep that down to a minimum. There's nothing worse than doing a flag ceremony while two people in the audience have their cell phones playing some jingle, okay? <laughs> that can be quite annoying <laughs> and disruptive to the entire meeting. So uh, ask adults to silence their phones, uh, put it in camp mode, as I call it, which is the off button. <laughs> 
that's what it is. It's the off button uh, or even, you know, travel mode, uh, which turns off all the notifications. Now, these policies that you can put together for your troop kind of go along with the scout law uh, and the outdoor code. In the scout law, scouts are or a scout is courteous. A scout is kind. This would silencing your phone is a great way to keep from interrupting and being kind to your fellow scouts and leaders. Um, obedient. You have a policy that you have with your unit. Follow it. Obey it. Obedient. Be obedient. A scout is obedient towards those policy. And it's agreed policy. Uh, in the outdoor code, there's a line in the outdoor code that actually reads, be courte courteous in the outdoors. So when you're outdoors, we don't want to hear beep, beep, beep or some jingle. Uh, we want to enjoy the birds chirping. We want to hear the deer in the brush. Okay. We want to see these things and experience them without beep, beep, beep and jingles. Again, adults need to silence their phones. That's just simple. Put it in camp mode, which is off and uh, be the example and not the exception. When the youth see the adults not obeying the rules, there's no reason for them not to mis, uh, misuse the cell phone. So that's very important. Uh, some scout units will actually go through that process. It's okay to have it on, in the car or the bus on the way to a camp. But when they get there, they actually uh, take all of the cell phones and the game thingies and all that stuff, and they'll lock them up, uh, make sure they're, they're off, but they'll lock them up so that they don't get lost and they're not used uh, for um, distractive purposes. You're at camp. You paid to be there, okay? Take advantage of that, okay? Go and have fun. I don't know, talk to your scouts, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> see nature, be the nature. Don't be, you know, they got their nose stuck right in that phone um, most of the time, unless it's not there. Then they have to think outside that box, the box in their hand. Um, so that's important. Uh, of course, once the scouting event is over and they get back on the into the cars or the bus they're all given their phones there are some exceptions some troops when they go to a summer camp uh they the scout will have signed up for uh cinematography or movie making merit badge they may need their cell phone because the cell phone has that built into it i would recommend that the scout that signs up for those merit badges should bring a camera a dedicated camera or movie camera for that purpose not rely completely on the cell phone cell phones have a lower resolution than most of the standard cameras that are out there that being the case they may need to check them in and out from an adult in the troop so that they can do their merit badge Here's a big point. Most summer camps are very remote. They're out in the mountains or they're on the coast or they're out in places that have very poor cell uh, services, okay? That's not normally huge, okay? So you're not gonna be able to surf the internet. You're not gonna be able to make phone calls even. So in some places, uh, it is still important that adult leaders have a cell phone available, especially if they're going out on a, an excursion or something, so that they can contact other adult leaders. But that's it. I mean, there's no need for the cell phone uh, later on. I do not recommend using cell phones or even the scout cell phone to help with homesickness. Sometimes the scout will beg to talk to his parents or his or her parents. Um, I find that that really becomes more, it, it just increases and overemphasizes the homesickness. It makes it worse. So um, that I don't recommend using cell phones for that. Um, but 
it's important to have policies for your meetings, your ceremonies, and all of your camping dealing with cell phones. It can be, they're a blessing. They can do a lot, but they can disrupt and they can be distracting. So as adult leaders, we need to come up with some policies and procedures within your unit that you all can agree on so that it makes it less of a burden. Technology is a wonderful thing. I love it. I'm talking to you, uh, probably through your cell phone. <laughs> so uh, that's the wonderful thing about technology. We need to use technology, not let technology take over us. Okay. We need to use that technology appropriately. And I know you will. As an adult leader, you're doing the good job. Keep it up and I will see you on the trail.